Hi everyone, today I'm going to demonstrate how to do a simple baked fish and I'm going to do lemon pepper flavor. And all you need for lemon pepper is really some pepper and lemon. Um, I'm going to use uh, fresh lemons for mine. I've already squeezed a little bit on my fish but I'm going to squeeze more on there. I'm also going to add a couple of veggies to mine and you don't have to do that. It's completely optional but I have some tomatoes and some just some shredded cabbage. I have a few onions and I just have some fresh garlic. I have my oven preheated to 375. So we're gonna go ahead and start. I've just oiled my skillet here with a little olive oil. I'm going to saute my garlic along with my cabbage and some butter and olive oil. And then we'll add in our fish and we'll pop it in the oven. I am gonna cover it. So let's go ahead and add our oil. I have the stove on a medium high heat. I am going to add a little butter as I stated. I'm going to add in the garlic in just a moment. While that's heating up, for the fish, we're going to go ahead and uh, squeeze some lemon. If you don't have a fresh lemon, just use some lemon juice. You all should be able to see that. Just use some lemon juice. I love lemon pepper. It's so good. And try to get all of that goodness out of there. And we're going to mix it together. I did not get out my tongue. Just want to get that lemon juice mixed around on that fish. I'm also going to season my fish with some of my garlic, onion, black pepper, and sea salt seasoning. And you can use just black pepper if you want. You don't have to do the extra with it because the lemon and the pepper is all you need to make it lemon pepper. <laughs> but I wanted the the added flavor. I just love garlic. I really, really do. Mm, that's going to be so delicious. I'm going to add a little bit more of that. And now I see my pan is getting warm. Make sure I get my seasoning tossed about my fish. I'm going to definitely add some more. And you add as much or as little as you'd like to your fish if you want to try this. And you definitely can use whatever seasoning that you like. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and add my garlic. And this was three cloves that I just cut up. And I'm going to add my cabbage. And I'm just going to saute these for just a few moments. Maybe about uh, anywhere from three to five minutes. Because of course we're not going, we're not going to cook our cabbage all the way through, but we definitely want to get it at least halfway. Um, I like my cabbage kind of al dente, so depending on how you like your cabbage. We are going to put this in the oven for about, uh, it's probably only going to need about 30 minutes for the, the fish to bake on 375. So we know that fish does not take long in the oven, especially on 375. So you want to keep your cabbage stirring unless you want to turn your heat down a little bit. But in a cast iron, we know it gets very hot and you don't want your food to burn. And if it's up to you if you want to throw some seasonings on that. I'm going to toss my fish with mine, so I think that I want to keep my flavors kind of working together and not working against each other. And you know, you can try out different, uh, different vegetables. It's always good to make with baked fish. It definitely won't hurt it, and it keeps you from having to do the extra cooking. You don't have to do all this stuff on the side. Sometimes I like to bake mine with broccoli, uh, mushrooms. You can just do like a vegetable medley. It's really good. Just like when we do like the chicken, we bake our maybe potatoes and vegetables with the chicken. It makes it easier. All right, now that's perfect. So at this point, I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to go ahead and add in the fish. And what we're going to do is don't worry about it starting to cook. <laughs> Stir it in with your cabbage. And I'll bring it over some for you all can see it. I didn't want it to keep cooking because we are going to put it in the oven. So after you toss your cabbage with that, I am going to add a little bit more of my seasoning. And this is just something I picked up at Walmart. 
I usually get my seasonings from Walmart or Kroger. The only seasoning that, well, we'll talk about that later. All right, I'm just gonna add a little bit more of my seasoning. Again, it's just a garlic, onion, black pepper, and sea salt. It keeps you from having to do them one at a time, the garlic, the onion powder, you know, all that stuff. I'm gonna add some black pepper. Again, use whatever flavor you like. I'm going to add more of my lemon juice. It's not definitely not going to hurt it. It's going to be good. Mm, mm, mm. I'm going to add my cherry tomatoes. And then I'm just gonna add a few lemon slices on top. My lemons are a little raggedy, but that's okay. It'll still do the trick. And then I'm gonna add a little green onion. And we're gonna bake this. I'm gonna add butter to mine. If you don't wanna add butter, um, you can add maybe about a, um, I think it's a fourth of a cup yeah a fourth of a cup of uh, maybe chicken broth or you can even add a little water and I'm going to cover mine up and in 30 minutes we're going to come back and we're going to check our fish so again I have the oven on 375 just that quick it's ready to go I'm going to go ahead and put it in the oven Did you all see that how does that look to you all all right let's check it in 30 minutes Okay, you all, it has been 30 minutes and the fish smells amazing. Again, I covered it. 30 minutes later. I'm going to taste a little bit. It smells so good. Let's see if I can put it here. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Smells good, smells good, smells good. I'm excited. Real simple and easy. That cabbage is looking good. I have a few tomatoes. That nice, wonderful juice on its own with the lemon pepper and the seasonings, the butter. Oh, God, it's so good. This looks amazing. Mm, mm, mm. Look at the fish. It's nice and flaky. Can you see that? It's just perfect. Mmm. Oh, that lemon pepper. Oh, it's so good. Mmm. 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 The cabbage is perfect. Okay, this is my lunch, so I'm going to have a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to get off this camera with you all. Mmm. 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 This is so, so, so good. Let me get this seasoning. If you do exactly what I did, and season it with this you all you can get this from the walmart a couple of bucks so good so so good man you're talking about delicious you know you can always eat it over a little rice this juice is amazing everything just turned out so good so i'm gonna have a little more for lunch and um save some for the girls after school snack and i'll see you all later thank you so so much for watching if you try it please let me know all right, have a wonderful, blessed day. I'll give y'all one more close-up. So you can see it. Mm, mm, mm. Delicious. It turned out amazing.